So we're just about to get on the ferry from Tarifa to Tangiers in Morocco. This will be our first African destination. Hello, sir. Uh, no hablo espanol, mate. Welcome to Africa. We'll see how welcome we actually are when yeah, we go through yeah. the customs. So we have nearly 800 kilometers to go. What do you guys put down for a question? Sugar taster. Sugar taster? Yeah, mine's mailbox repair, man. This year is the moment we're going to get some beer in there. We got a long drive ahead of us, so the faster we can get out of here, the better. Welcome to Jamal Ethna. It's the market here in Marrakesh. I mean, there's just bikes and motorcycles and cars and people and horses. And there's some sort of order in there, chaos. Oh, look, there's, there's us. You guys dancing with snakes up here. I'm not even sure if it's alive. And your name is? Ayub. Ayub. Alright, let's get going. Okay. We don't have much time. I can't wait to see Jonathan's reaction. Yeah. I lost uh, some little speakers. Susan has lost, she's lost a significant amount of gear. Someone else has lost a tent. And you know, over the course of the next week or so, we'll probably keep realizing other things that were in here that we now can't find. We came across the uh, Moroccan border. We're heading into uh, Mauritania. Now the land to the left and to the right of us is basically just littered with landmines. Last year a friend of ours did this and basically told us the way. Let's see how well our friend plotted our course around these landmines. That was fun. We are <clears throat> back on the Moroccan side of the uh, Morocco Mauritania border. We were rejected or ejected rather from uh, <laughs> Mauritania for lack of visas, which you cannot get at the border as of uh, January 1st, 2010. So the plan now is for a person to return to Rabat to get visas on Monday and hopefully cross Tuesday morning. Now if you're familiar with Morocco, Rabat is all the way on the north end of the country. We are all the way down on the south. There's about 20 hours of straight driving in between. Jump in a car, drive to Rabat, get visas, get back to the middle of nowhere. Hopefully nothing will happen though because we break down in the desert, we don't have any support. It's a matter of allowing for everybody to believe that it is possible, even if I myself don't think that it might be. <laughs> We're behind schedule, we need to make it to the World Cup. And uh, if we don't come together, we're not going to make it. You're a